This is Karen Lowe reporting live for Hollywood Happenings. Uh, we're over here at Pan Pacific Park in Fairfax District. And we are over here for the Writers Guild. This is my sign. It's the back of the sign. I kind of walk around. But I would go live for a You guys want to show? I'm live on TikTok right now. We're out here supporting the riders. I'm oh, sorry. Bad bitch, what if AMPT realizes they are villains? We're live on TikTok right now. Do you have anything that you want to say? Sorry. Oh, anything I want to say? Come negotiate. Yeah, we're, we're asking for reasonable things. You know, give us what we want. We're only asking for two percent profit share. Uh, you know, we're helping create that, that profit for you. So negotiate with us. Thank you. Don't just support the Writers Guild, but also support SAG AFTRA. Exactly. Because they are, I just know it's tentative, but I don't know if they actually approved it. Yeah. And I don't think they want anybody to know. Uh, I'm not sure who you're talking about, but this isn't MAGA. This is the Writers Guild. The Writers Guild of America strike. So don't if you don't know what you're talking about, you can leave. Goodbye. This has no clue about MAGA. Read the sign. Hi. I'm doing good. I'm out here to support. I'm a writer, but I'm not in the guild yet, but that's my plan. But I'm still supporting. And I've also done acting too, so I gotta support all the way. And I'm live on TikTok. I had some dumb dumb say MAGA go home. I'm like, this isn't MAGA, this is writers. So you go home. <laughs> I know that was a trophy. <laughs> Yes, I do get around. I am a writer. Strong support. So, you can stop your streaming because they don't want to pay. And also, Amazon Prime is being sued. No, I know. For not allowing people to cancel and fraudulently forcing you to join the membership.
Excuse me. Norma Ray, right here. Let me get your sign, I like that. I'm live on TikTok right now. No, I was live on TikTok. Did you want to say anything? Oh no, I got nothing to say. Just support the riders. Yeah, that's why you need to stop subscribing to them. Because they're charging you money fraudulently. Stop paying for the services. Can I see the back of the side? The back? What's the back say? If it's called Max, why are the rooms so many? I'm live on TikTok right now. Yes. I love that sign, Riders Before Robots. Yes. Everything is awesome as long as riders can pay their bills. Exactly. I'm a writer, I'm just not in the guild, but I'm out here supporting. I'm even live on TikTok. You, I'm live on TikTok right now. Oh my god. Hello TikTok. Support writers. So get rid of all your streaming services. Yeah, exactly. Somebody said, well, why should I watch this when I can they're showing old movies and stuff and I can watch it for free? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But without the writers, you won't have any of that. Exactly. Because AI is crap. It is. I mean, when yeah, they no, can't... Nobody wants to watch a show that's made by, you know, machine learning. Right. It's the human element that people I, like. I put my writing in there just to see what it said. And it said, written 100% by a human. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. human. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, I think one time it said 98%, and then I fixed a couple of grammatical errors, and it went, you 100%. Yeah. So like, but that's weird. It doesn't pick, see, it doesn't even pick up your grammar. Yeah. So I'm like, it doesn't know grammar. It doesn't, yeah. No, not at all. I'm like, so, okay. Yeah, well, remember, like, the first article that Walter posted about this guy? Like, oh, like, Mason, Can I sit down? Of course, of course you can sit down. That's who she's going to sit down. Probably a shame. Yes, they are striking because of Netflix and Hulu. Because they don't want to pay. 
Somebody just, well, li I'm live on TikTok. They asked why you're striking. And as well as AI and chat GPT. Correct? Fair wages, more money for the writers, for the profits that they're making on the streaming services. Here. Can you guys see that? You like to watch movies and TV, don't you? So I would go live before I start the march. <laughs> I'm not going to be in the court of the AMPT. Even the doggies are walking. Consider this, um, every science fiction writer has written about the threat of AI. Uh, the problem is it's the candy we want, so it kind of creeps into our lives. But eventually, we're going to end up with content that has actually no human interaction, which means we're not connecting one-to-one -one with humanity. And eventually, who does that serve? Basically, there's no humanity to identify. And they can actually bring back dead actors to play the part. Yes, that is true. Yeah, and that's it. It's not just writers. It goes all the way across the spectrum. It's all the way we heard about this. We died. I know. Don't, don't tell Florida they might ban oh, George Orwell. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm surprised they haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Which is sad. Yes. I remember watching Lou Grant, whoever the writers was, wrote some great episode. Because they talked about the book parties and the nuts. I'm like, wait a minute. That's going on again. Yeah. It's always been going on, but it's worse. Yeah, there's a, there's a reason why we should not hide history. Um, we can learn lessons from history. Ignore them, we'll never get past them. We we'll just keep repeating them, and we're doing it now. Now, who am I speaking to? I am Stephen L. Sears. Uh, I'm a writer, producer, primarily in television. I've also written in animation and features and novels and a bunch of other things. So what's some of the things that you've produced and written, etc.? Well, I go back quite a ways. My second show that I was staffed on uh, was a Princess. I worked on the Walker, Texas Rangers, Superboy, Swamp Thing, Jesse and Fox, Captain McCormick. Kind of in a weird situation, but I can't remember all of my... And I, I'm supporting. I'm a writer, but I'm just not in the guild. But I, ah. My future plans. When I first got into the guild was in, in 1984, and we were hit by the 1988 strike. So I've been through every strike since. 
and it's always it's always worth it, but it's always based on technology and trying to adapt to that with the conscience. I don't remember the 2000s, but I'm going to write about it. And I'm going to turn it into screen for me. And it's going to win the Academy Award. Excellent. And I want him out there just so he can see. <laughs> and I'll make sure he's there. I'll pick him up in a limo. Anything is possible. That's, That's right. right. A Debbie Gibson song. And but uh, I'll download this later and play it back. Hey, Ted, are you going to... Hey, how you doing? Oh, I got to show this for somebody. She loves her program. I know. Thank you so much. Hey, Andy. I'm out here at a Writers Guild of America strike. Multi-union rally. Laborers Union, the SAG after. I don't see Gary though, but there's so many people. Uh, I did not, if I, I run into Gary, you know I'm going to put him live. <laughs> so I was going to walk with this, but my battery started getting low. So I thought, let me go live before I start walking. <laughs> hey, Lisa. United Teachers Association, Laborers Union, it's a multi-union rally in support of the Riders Guild. We're going to walk from Pan Pacific Park all the way down to the La Brea Tar Pits. There's the star of the show. I didn't bring Starlet though. I thought we're going to be walking too far. Or she wanted to come. AMPT wants money for nothing and the scripts for free. That's who we're fighting against. We're live on TikTok. More, but it scares, but AI scares me more. Did you guys want to say anything? I'm live on TikTok right now. Did you want to talk about your horror and how AI scares you? Today, one of the things that I'm scared about, honestly, is artificial intelligence. And if we don't regulate it now, like that comes from the human experience, and that is something that AI is never going to be able to actually touch. So the studios need to wake up and realize that right now. Exactly. I, I was, I'm working on a script myself just about that very issue where, like, my ex-mother-in-law was, like, a, she was a narcissist controlling her son, and I asked AI, I said, write me a script about this, and it told me something totally different. No feeling. It told me what I'm It was something totally different than what it should be. There was no feeling. It has gone through. It cannot generate like, the emotional experience at the end of the day. It can imitate probably structure and see when something was made with parts and when something was not done so. So honestly, like the studios need to wake up and realize that we are the asset, not AI. I won awards for my writing. Not more like journalistic writing, but I've won awards. I know. They cannot tell us. They can't tell us that the machines is better. They're not. No. They're not at all. They can help you as a, as a tool, but that's it. It's more of a writing tool. And the biggest thing is we need to make sure that it stays as a tool. But it can, yes, right. I agree, it can never replace us the writers. It can replace us. Exactly. And who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Tyler. Tyler Fisher. And what, what have you written anything for? What big things have you written? So I wrote... Um, a script that I'm doing with a friend of mine that I'm really, really proud of. I can't say too, too much about it, but it involves like um, a post-apocalyptic world between a brother and a sister, and a character who has to go on a journey, honestly, to learn how to love 
one, but has made some very destructive choices, and they have to learn how to protect themselves. Like, my biggest thing is honestly, it's like create, writing stories, using the genre for as a means of creating space for ourselves. And in this particular one, it's about setting a healthy boundary between people. Exactly. And now we gotta go. Buddy. We gotta go there. And I'm going to have to sign out pretty soon because we're getting ready to start the walk. Recently? No. I'm not. This isn't a MAGA route. So if you think that, because that's not what this is about. People, I love you. Can you stand in front of the people with the orange hat? Right here? Again, if you can't identify the orange vest, identify the key black girl. Here we are. For the melanin game. Very cute. This is true. I'm doing good. Alright, people. We are about to move. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm sorry, I don't have any music. We are. Go wherever you guys want. Ride a strike, you little bear. Going out on June 30th. Director Skill has got a tentative contract, but as far as I know, they haven't approved it. Strike on the unions. They want to write. They want the machines to do the writing, which is very unempathetic, and they want to use dead actors. <laughs> Our words are worth a thousand pictures. Remember that. Yes, this is the Writers Guild. It's a multi, a multi uh, union association. The uh, builders, laborers are out here. Look for uh, the one in the blue shirt. That's how they did listen. Yes. Movie and television. That's why all your talk shows are shut down. And there's no new movies coming out. They're just using whatever is stuck. Hope Springs Eternal, they That is sick. <laughs> They're not getting residues, residuals for uh, streaming. That's what the whole issue is. Because as technology changes, they don't want to pay. Did I say that right? I think so. <laughs> Somebody said any residuals for streaming. Not much. Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah. None at all. None at all. Could I answer it right? Yes, I do. 
I get that through social media. I get people that contact me like Nothing's funny about pay. Both. Everything. Movie, series, talk show, soap opera, the television soaps. Because the longer this keeps on going, if you watch like your Young and Restless or General Hospital, Days of Our Lives, any of those things, both of the beautiful, they're going to be running out of scripts because there's no scripts that have been writing. So when they're out of script, they're going to start showing reruns on those. Okay, we're in the street now. Oh my God, that's Pan Pacific Park in Los Angeles, which is near the farmer's market at 3rd Fairfax at the Grove, all the way down to the La Brea Tar Pits. And I don't know if you guys can see that dog. It's got a on strike. <laughs> I didn't bring my baby today. I didn't trust the pavement. <laughs> Although she wanted to go. I'm sorry. I was trying to get out of the way of the camera. Let me show you the line in the back. One dude did like a couple years ago or whatever, and the reporter wasn't able to actually go down because they did a little test dive with it and like the sides of it came off and stuff. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. You know, <laughs> I'm live on TikTok right now. So they're walking with us. I don't know if you guys can see the helicopter up there. Guild of America is on strike. Your television and movie writers, talk show writers, soap opera writers. I only read headlines also. I read the headline the first like two sentences. There should be a news site. This sounds like something that you come up with. I'm sorry, I can't see the comments really well right now. I'm walking, so. That's, that's a daily. Okay, so that's my sign. It's pretty good. I like it. It's like a hunting one out. It's like a hunting one out. I prefer that to too well when I'm walking. We're out here every day Monday through Friday but this is a multi-rally right here. I loved it. The guy laid down taking pictures on the street. That's the way I take pictures. I'll just lay flat on the street to get the best shot.
Hold on. Water. I got water. Don't even know what street I'm on right now. And I don't know if you guys heard that the FTC is actually suing Amazon Prime because they're not allowing people to fraudulently signing people up and it'll make it too difficult to cancel. I believe we're on 3rd Street. It's Third Street, right? Of, of musicians is out here supporting the writers. I'm live right now on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Streaming terms for comedy variety. Tiktok eat your battery. Oh, nice. 
also, I'm a writer, I'm just not in the guild yet, but I still support. I even write songs, so I'm a writer all the way around. Hold your sign over my phone a minute. Make shade, no, make shade. What's that? Make shade. Hold your tongue. I'm sorry for not responding to the comments right now. The sun is in my eyes and it's hard to read and walk when I'm holding my phone and the sign in my water. Right here is the Writers Guild of America building. Actually, this is the Writers Guild of America West building. There's also one in um, New York and I believe another one in Nashville. Hi, puppy. Hi, pretty baby. A baby looks tired. Yes, this is the Writers Guild. But we got the uh, multi, it's a multi union rally in support of the Writers Guild. We got the SAG AFTRA out here. Just past the doggy. Now we're walking down the middle of uh, Fairfax Avenue by the Writers Guild. I didn't hear them. I could. I don't know what the word is you're talking. Was saying that they were saying. I apologize. Yes, the writers, but we also have the Musicians Union, SAG-AFTRA, out here supporting the laborers and the United Teachers Association. Thank you. I'm documenting it this way. 
Over there, the stag after stand together. Hey, you want to stay Check coming. Well, we all voted to, to be in support, it's right too. So, that's, that's all we heard. I think it was 97.99%, right? I got it. Okay. But I am going to sign off so I can hold my sign correctly. So I will see you guys later. Here you go.